Welcome to Libratum Vita. My name is Brooke and today I would like to share with you my recipe for a Keto Pumpkin Spice Latte. Now this recipe doesn't contain any heavy cream or sugar. It is actually very, very healthy for you and yet it tastes just like a pumpkin spice latte. It is absolutely delicious and I am obsessed with it. I cannot wait to share it with you. Start off by brewing um, one of your favorite cups of coffee. Right now I'm really into this um, Colombian blend from Sprouts. I know I mention Sprouts a lot, but I do get a lot of really great products there. I, I have a Keurig at home, so I like to use these ones because they do have a biodegradable pod rather than running through that plastic. I do recommend getting a coffee that has some substantial flavor to it. Since we don't have any milk or cream in this recipe that's going to dilute that flavor, it's really going to shine through. Next, make yourself a small cup of nettle tea. Um, I just use about a third of a mug. It's probably about um, one third cup. Make sure to make it extremely hot and let it sit until it cools down to about a room temperature. So after you've set those two things aside and let them cool for a bit, um, bring out your blender so we can start bringing it all together. Gently heat one tablespoon of organic grass-fed butter and one half teaspoon of coconut oil. Um, heat these just enough so that they are melted. Go ahead and toss those into the blender and add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Pour in the tea and the coffee you had uh, brewed previously and now it's time for the flavor. Sprinkle in just a dash of pure ground ginger and about three shakes of pumpkin spice. Lastly, just one shake of cinnamon to finish it off. Blend it all up for about 30 seconds. All of these ingredients will combine fairly quickly, but um, make sure you do blend it for at least 30 seconds so that the mixture becomes kind of frothy and milky. It might sound a little funny to be drinking coffee with all of these oils and fats in it, but it actually is much healthier for your body than any milk or cream substances would be. A lot of coffees that you'll get in shops will contain lots of sugar too to help bring up the flavor, but even though they taste amazing, they're not the best for you. Um, this is an amazing replacement. Um, I cannot stress how amazing this tastes. Um, ever since I came up with this recipe, I have literally been drinking it every single day. Many of you have probably heard of the keto diet before, and I know sometimes it sounds like just a silly, just another silly fad diet, and to be honest, I'm not really one that um, completely adheres to that diet, but I do think that a lot of the properties from it are very beneficial to us. The idea that um, fats and protein should be the main components of our diet, I do definitely agree with. The keto diet calls for zero carb or sugar intake. Our bodies burn through carbs very, very quickly, and they don't really provide a whole lot of nutrients to us. They actually will increase your production of fat quicker. Interestingly, and despite the name, consuming fats will not make you fat. Your body burns through fats very slowly and uses a lot of nutrients from them. Even though I'm, I am not fully keto, I pretty much follow this. Um, my diet consists primarily of vegetables, um, fats, and then proteins in that order. I do consume some carbs like rice or the whole wheat pita bread. I do have the recipe for that posted here. Um, but I do try to reduce my carb intake as much as possible, seeing as my body requires a lot of fat and protein to be able to draw energy from. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you try out the recipe. If you do and do like it, please let me know in the comments, and if you have any additions or modifications that you made to it, I would love to hear about it, so please let me know. For now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.